On this episode, we talk curb and gutter. So in a lot of the new developed areas these days, they actually are on the, on the, on the road, from the road, the road meets the, the, the land, they actually do a, a curving gutter, which is what we've got right here. Now most of the newer estates do this, um, um, a lot of the old areas and that, they may have a square gutter. It's actually on the other side of the road, let's have a quick look and I'll show you what that is. So this is what they call square gutter. Now, how this can affect you on your home. So a couple of reasons is, um, so if you have a square gutter, uh, maybe a lot of the old areas, some of the new areas may have them, you're going to have to cut into that and do a layback for your driveway. So, you know, this could be extra cost. So this is something that you may want to let your builders know along the way um, if you do have a, a curb gutter or if you have a, already got a curb gutter. With a curb one, they won't have to cut in a layback. Okay, now another thing I want, you, want to come and point out to you is where the, the position of the, uh, the road drain is. So let's go have a look. So as you can see here, they normally try and put the drains in the center of the two houses. So Nate, if you come right there, square on. So this drain, as you can see here, the boundary peg with one lot on either side, they generally put the drain in between the boundary line. Now the reason they do this is because you have to stay, you have to have your driveway a certain amount of distance away from this. So this may be an, an idea to, uh, to mention things like this to your builder or to take into consideration when designing your house. Now, imagine if you put your, your garage on this, this side of your house and your driveway would have to be close to this. Council may require you to come certain distance away and it could affect the way you have your driveway. So an option might be to flip your house and keep away uh, from, from the gutter. So it doesn't have any, uh, any issues with council or, or anything like that too. So, you know, if you do have this type of stuff or you do have the curb one, you know, so maybe a few things you want to take into consideration when, when doing your driveway. You may be doing your driveway or the builder might be doing your driveway as well. So in the comments below, tag someone who actually has a curbing gutter or tag someone who has a square gutter because either one can mean different things and there are a lot of different uh, requirements with all different councils when coming to driveways and what you can and can't do with uh, with cutting these type of things. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about the gutters. See you next time. Thanks guys.